Greetings, Monsignor John, and all you beautiful parishioners from St. Patrick's in Binghamton. I am so sad that I am not able to be with you this week. I was looking forward so much with uh, Elaine, my secretary. We were going to be flying up, and I was looking forward to Divine Mercy Sunday and to this whole week spending it with you. But I want you to know, and I told you, Monsignor, that I am praying, and during this week now, I make a special holy hour during the week because I have lots of time to pray. I do come into the office and I have the Blessed Sacrament here as well as at my convent. So I, I will pray for all the intentions of your parishioners. And Monsignor, I will be in touch with you as I said to you. I hope that I get an opportunity to visit your parish when this coronavirus is over. And I would say to you, all of you uh, people from St. Patrick's Parish, it's a very good name, you know, me being an Irish nun from Ireland and St. Patrick being our patron saint, you pray for Ireland, please, because it also is going through a really hard time with this coronavirus. But Ireland also needs a great renewal in the faith. And I pray that this time for you at St. Patrick's Parish and for, for the world, really, and for our country, will be a time of great spiritual renewal. It's an opportunity now when we're quarantined and when we have more time to pray. And I encourage you to pray the rosary. You know, the rosary is a very powerful prayer. I've just been talking about the rosary because there's a, a 54 day novena starting in Ireland through EWTN. And I was saying to the people that the rosary has been a powerful grace in family life and through wars and plagues and famines down through the history of the church. So I really encourage all of you there in St. Patrick's to join us in that novena, which will be starting, uh, I think it's this in the next few days. And also, Monsignor, I want to thank you for your invitation to come to St. Patrick's. And I ask you all to pray for me that I will be able to continue my ministry. I, I read today a beautiful line which really touched me. And was since this Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, it said, the Divine Mercy is never quarantine. It's never on lockdown. You just have to turn to Jesus and his mercy just flows to us. So that's what I'm praying for all of you at St. Patrick's. God bless you. And I look forward to meeting you all. Goodbye.